you doing YouTube? Oklahoma Mopar here. RC Exploits. Took the, took the Jeep out today and the Galan 2. Uh, checking out the new Trackstar 27 turn uh, 540 brush motor and then of course a Hobby Wing uh, 1060. Uh, did well on 3S uh, up until I lost the screws out of the knuckle. And then, of course, I lost one of the little bushings. Uh, if you're in automotive, you know, I, I still classify it as a uh, ball joint. But uh, I didn't have another metal one, so the axial plastic ones seem to fit. That'll get me to at least it's not broke down until I can get some parts. I actually think that the 3S and the 27 turn is a bit much. I'm going to, it had a 45 turn in it. I think I'm going to go back to a 35 turn that I just got in. I'm going to give it a shot. Also, uh, if I can figure out what I did with them, uh, Zach with uh, Tornado Alley Crawlers 3D printed some uh, uh, tube doors. I'm going to give those a shot, see what they're like. Uh, as soon as I find them, I'll, I'll do a little video of, of putting those on there and fitting stuff. Uh, it's a test pin test print he said so we'll see how they go uh, these just keep falling open when they're driving down the trail of course when you roll it they're always going to fall open so we're going to give them a shot see what happens uh, stay tuned uh, thanks for watching and uh, I'll get the doors and get them on and we'll see what happens from there thanks Put those in there, made sure a little bit of blue Loctite on the threads uh, where they go into the pieces so they can come out fairly easy. I'm going back with new hardware. Uh, seems like every time I pull a bolt out, I don't know if y'all can see that, seems like uh, the more I do it, I just keep running into stuff like that. And then I have to uh, do the old, get that in there, there you go, Dremel tool, and take that out, of course corrosion I didn't build this I bought this already built so go through sometimes and have to redo stuff but I buy hardware and bolt so I can just redo it as I go uh, no sense in re reusing old hardware it's cheap enough so that'll be done be able to put the wheel back on this thing and it'll be a roller again Find the right wheel nut here. Use this in on the trail. It's just a secrets can. Put a couple magnets on the top. It holds screws out of the way. Plus, I can hold all the other stuff I need to. Gives you a nice little area. I mean, it's it's not the best, but it, it works. It works in what I do. This little dude. Plenty tight. All right, back to go. All right, put this out of the way and let's see if we can't take these doors off and uh, go from there. So keep watching, please. Now I don't have to take all those those 
uh, four floor plant pans out to uh, take the battery out, but I'm doing that because I need to get to. All right, didn't know that was still recording, but okay. That proved a lot more difficult than what I thought it was gonna be. So, looks like it's knurled. I'm just gonna to have to grind that off. But, they look good on there. We'll see how they uh, hold up. What that picture do? There we go. Changes the whole look of the Jeep. I have to take this door panel off and see if there's a way I can mount that mirror right there on both sides the way it's up there. All right, well, let's continue on and see what else we can tear up. This fit pretty tight. You got to kind of pop it on there. This looks good. All right. I guess once we get it out on the trails, we'll see exactly what's going on. So I'll get the other one done, and then we'll have another look. All right. Thanks. All right. Looks pretty good. They seem to hold up because before the stock ones, stock doors just fall. So got it pretty much back together. Uh, learn something about this hobby wing 
there's three settings on you got either forward brake and reverse forward and only or uh, forward and back and I think I read somewhere where they said if it's on forward if it's uh, that pin completely removed that it actually has a uh, drag brake so we're going to find out if it does Oh, that's a two. I need a two and a half. That is the two and a half. Waha. Uh -huh. Let me get the remote. Been, been using this, uh, Turnigy uh, GTX3 uh, for about two years now. Uh, just about everything I have uh, has a receiver. It's three channel, of course, third channel here, for go and turn. Uh, only issue I've ever had is I had to use some uh, contact cleaner in there. It gets a little weird to where it doesn't want to change. It is a battery eater though. Look at that, eight. So let's see what we got. On off switch. Doo -doo. Like I said, I got the uh, Turnigy uh, on off switch connected to the third channel so I can turn the lights on and off. Yeah, there's a drag brake there. So. Like I said, that 27 turn is pretty, pretty fast. May end up putting it back, but all right. There's them doors. Kind of like them. They look good. Seem like they're going to hold up. Tell me what you think in the comments down below. Uh, I was thinking maybe. Uh, Taking off of this, just this front part of this roof right here. Here's a. There we go. There's a line right here. I, they call it something. I mean, there's two panels on an actual Rubicon that you can take off. I was thinking with the doors off, I may take this panel off. I don't know. Uh, like I said down in the comment section, tell me what you think. Uh, my little ST Class Jeep there. Uh, Thanks again for watching. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. Yeah, they come open. They don't come open very far though. I don't know why that is. Maybe that's. But I guess better to stay closed. These things, factory doors, flew way open. But now I I know how they come apart, so I can do it. All right. Uh, once again, thanks, and uh, see you out on the trails.